All right, everyone. So this is actually a uh, something that's been requested multiple times. People have requested, "Hey, Frosty, how do you go ahead and do your camera uh, setup, like the third-person camera? How do you do that? Uh, how do you go ahead and set up the stream camera? How does it work, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. Um, I will go ahead and give one piece of advice: experiment with it. Do cool things. Different effects do different things. For instance, and I'll go over this in a second, but um, where was it? Uh, and the camera is very finicky. Trust me on this one. There we go. That's the one I want. So like this one, for instance, as I recall, yes. It has a transparency vignette around it, which is a pretty cool effect. But I'll get into that a little bit later. For now, why don't I go ahead and get into the nitty gritty details of how everything is set up in the first place and how things work. So, you start off in a world. You've uh, got your mirror per se, you've got your avatar. Uh, you, you're loaded in, uh, you're capturing your VR chat window. Stop it. Don't capture your VR chat window. The reason why I say this, and I'm only talking about as your main source. If you're wanting to do a third person camera, you don't want to capture as your main uh, stream uh, video the VR chat window. Because what will happen is as soon as you go ahead and take that camera, as soon as you pull out that stream camera, boom, the camera becomes what you see. That is how these things work. So, since that's currently the way things are set up, I mean, you guys, you can't see any, like my stream chat here. You can't see any of like, like I've got my sound list here, for instance. Oh my, how lewd. <laughs> And none of you guys can go ahead and see that when I have the VR chat window in focus. So I'm going to use, I'm going to uh, ask my helpful, handy companion. Which, if you follow my stream on Twitch, you'll know that I go ahead and <laughs> like my companion is so extremely helpful. And it looks like someone's already wanting to join off me. Even though I just left and told everyone I was getting offline. So, anyways. My handy dandy companion. My Google Assistant. My Google Home device. So. And all of this is custom. Like, the Google Home stuff is custom, by the way. I, I'm a programmer. I coded it. That's what I do. So, hey Google. First person. Google says Roger, and now you should be able to see my heads up display, my chaperone bounds. You can now see those. You can see this interface here, which if I go ahead and activate, works pretty well. It's all in performance mode. You can see my sound pad. You can see my monitor set up here. Like you can see all of that. And now this right here, what I'm capturing is I'm technically capturing the Steam VR window in center view mode. So, I've got my monitors here. Let me show you exactly what I'm capturing. This right here. That is what I'm capturing. I'm just taking this window and capturing the output. Let's uh, put Twitch back up here. So that is how I'm going ahead and capturing the window. Other people use the plugins. I have stopped using the plugins in favor of the display mirror. Uh, if you are using Oculus, if you're going through the Steam uh, interface, you can go ahead and use the Steam stuff. And it actually does look nicer if you use the Steam VR, like display mirror stuff or the OBS plugin. I am using stock OBS here. I am not using um, Slobs, Streamlabs OBS, 
I have access to plugins. If you're using regular OBS, you should be able to have access to the plugin that allows you to capture from Steam VR directly into OBS. I don't know uh, if um, I don't know if Slob supports that. Also, the not responding screen you just saw, VR chat. You can only capture that if you're capturing from the headset using something similar to the display mirror here. All right. So, I've explained a bit of the setup of how I do things. I do the window capture. You can see it here. It works just fine. Okay, Frosty. You, you've, got, you've got me with this setup. I can go ahead and see, like... My chat can now see chat, or my stream chat can see chat, etc., etc. But you haven't told me how to do the camera, how to work the camera. That's what I came to this video for. Yeah, I know. We'll get to that right now. All right. That's exactly what we'll do. So, next step is you open up your menu. Your menu. There we go. And that's not what I wanted. Play Space Mover. Sorry. You open up your menu. Next up, so after you open up your menu, you go to camera, and then you enable stream camera. Depending on your avatar, the camera will be placed uh, either above you, eye level, or below you. Since I'm a smaller avatar, I c sort of have to back up in my play space. Like, you can see that this is a fairly sized room. Decent, uh, it's a decently sized room. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn the stream camera at the edge and the ca stream camera appears here in the center. Uh, let me go ahead and hide this. So t when you p first pull out the menu, uh, w or when you first, okay, let's see here. Not that one, this one. When you first pull out the camera, it will look like this. You go ahead and take it, you move it around, it moves exactly with your hand. Uh, if your hand's any sort of jaggedy, it'll show. Uh, hey Google, camera. And so an example of that is I get it, I move it, it's like, I, I'm just holding it and you can kind of see the jaggedness, the jitter from my hand. That's what I'm talking about here. Hey Google. First person. Okay. But that's so the way I like to solve that, I like to I like my camera to be smooth when I'm moving it around. Like say if I'm repositioning it around in my room, I like my camera to be moving smoothly. So on the camera buttons here, what we have I'll just, or, this is the orientation when you first pull it out. You've got cycle movement space. What this does is, like right now it's following the camera. I click that. Now the camera stays in place and I can move around. It doesn't have to follow this little window here. Then, and I, I can just move around in VR chat and it stays roughly in the same spot. One of the other options is world. This is the world movement space. So like now you can see that I'm moving around in the world. Things are happening in the world, like the mirror's turning on and off. And basically like that camera's not gonna move. Like I could do that for group photos, put the camera up someplace. Uh, the, the same things work on the regular camera except for a different feature, oh, and I'll get to that in a little bit. So, back to this view. Next up, what we have on the camera. So that was movement space. Then we have movement behavior. The, so yellow one here is movement space. This one is movement behavior. So this one's the one I really like. Uh, the picture frame. I mean, the first one was the jagged one. This is the second option, which is where it smooths it out. And you can see the camera option. It's like following behind the camera, but it is also smooth. Hey, Google, camera. 
So an example of this, I mean, you look at this, it's smoothly following me. It's not jagged whatsoever. I can just move it around. Hey Google, first person. Alrighty. Then the third mode to, and I'm pretty sure it's the final mode, uh, to the cycle movement behavior is the eyeballs. And what eyeballs do is, let's say I put my camera right here, right in the center. Well, hey Google, camera. So I'm not going to move with my controllers at all. I'm just going to hold my controllers up, but I'm go not going to use them for movement at all. Now, you'll see notice that as I go ahead and walk around, uh, just like normal, like I'm just walking around my play space and the camera is following where my head is. I have seen neither go ahead and use this. So if I move my camera and put it up here, I am only going to rotate my play space now. But what I've seen is when neither goes ahead and dance, it says he'll go ahead and walk around his play space. Both Nier, neither and Neoap do this and some others. But they'll just go ahead and walk around. You'll see the camera moving around. And as their full body walking around, the camera always focuses on them. You don't see them going to the side of the screen at all whatsoever. Hey Google, first person. Let's take that off and put that back on. Uh... And as I said before, the camera is finicky. Come on. That's why I also rotate it on its side a bunch. The next one here is pins. And what pins do is they allow you to set and save different camera layouts. So if I go ahead and turn the camera around here, for instance, like right now you can see the background. If I go ahead and click, I think it's this pin. Nope, that one is just a normal, another pin when you don't set them up, they always go back to the default camera settings. If I go to this one, which I'm the top one, which I'm pretty sure I've set up. Yep. Now you'll see that uh, there's a gray background or here. What it really is, is it's transparency. There's nothing here, no color drawing. This is the way I prefer to do it. None of my avatars have any sort of transparent materials where they don't show up in the camera. And so this one works pretty well for me. Once you go ahead and are in the stream camera and you've gone ahead and played with the pins, when you, uh, in my case, it is the trigger, the trigger. When I pull the trigger, it goes ahead and cycles between the last two pins. Come on. Next up. So typically what I'll do is I'll have two pins set. One normal, the other just showing my avatar with the transparency. I'll also set them both up so that they are on the smooth rather than the jagged. And you just saw the transparency there. The way I did that is with the red button here. The red button here are the different filters. By default, you are on none, which looks just like this here. But there are also some other effects, uh, such as alpha transparent. And why don't I go ahead and show that off? Hey Google, camera. Where is my PC view? Okay, there we go. So the view in the bottom left right here, that is uh, my VR headset view. 
it is just another source. Instead of it being the main scene, it is the small corner scene. So, what we've got is Alpha Transparent. That is the first one here. Now you should see a space background behind me. That's because I have a space background that always plays in the background when I am streaming. The next one here, uh, just down below Alpha Transparent, is Trippy. You, you know, like those fun phone effects. That's basically what you get with Trippy. Whoa. I am an alien! I am here to take your pigs! Give me all your piggies! And yeah, it doesn't do so hot on the weirdness. But I mean, to each their own. The next one is Hype. What was that? Hypno? What does that look like? Ah, that just looks like none. With a swirly hypnotic effect being applied to it. I don't really see much use for that with the stream camera, but maybe for taking pictures. Then we've got none. And I've seen a lot of streamers use this. Green screen. I don't use green screen in case there's avatars with this like shade of green or whatnot. I I personally don't like green screen. I like the transparency because here's my main reason why I like transparency better. You see like the edge of the whiskers per se? With green screen, when you cut out the green, you, you'll go ahead and end up changing the color of the face a little bit of your avatar. And like any sort of place where there's like borders, like the whiskers here, how you can see them waving in the green. Well, wherever you've got that transition between your avatar and the, your green, you have the potential where it will show up green screen or you'll be erasing more of your whiskers. And so I don't like the green screen effect. I choose to go with transparent. Tra for, for, me, for me, transparent works the best. But it doesn't work for everyone. Um, next up, old timey. I really like old timey. Old timey is pretty cool. I mean, especially the vignette. So if you are using, say, like a green screen filter most of the time, and you don't have that allow transparency checked or box checked in OBS for the VR chat window, then for the whole uh, vignette where it goes transparency, you won't get that. You'll get more of what you see here in the VR window. Um, rather than the vignette that you're seeing, which, I mean, honestly, I think the vignette looks cool. With my space background, um, come on, join with me. Um, um, we are doing this for too long. We should continue on with the video. Okay, so. I really like uh, old timey for things like that. Next up, uh, what is this? Sparkles. Sparkles is pretty much the same as the normal filter. As you can see, it just makes things all sparkly. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. But, I mean, I'm not into sparkles. While they're cool, they're just not me. Okay, so what, we'll, what we're going to look at next is uh, this one is so all of you uh, Minecraft fans out there, I think you'll appreciate this one. Come on. And this is what I get by it's finicky. Like, look, none of them are lighting up. Okay. I think I got some of them to light up. Okay, there we go. Maybe? Like, seriously, this is... Sparkles. Why sparkles? The only one. Let's try turning it around. Okay, there we go. So, pixelate. Pixelate's a pretty interesting one because as I go ahead and get further away, 
uh, you can see that you know I'm kind of blocky pixelated and whatnot but as I go ahead and start to walk closer and closer to the camera I start to come into view a bit more and more in focus while still pixelated not as pixelated okay now let's uh, switch off pixelation no need for that filter uh, the next one is code I think code is a pretty cool filter it just overrides essentially all the shaders and whatnot it's like where that's the mirror uh, this is what my avatar looks like under the code filter I think it looks pretty cool but no color always green it's more of a photo filter than anything else next filter is glitch this one could be used for like a BR back screen possibly uh, like say if you recorded a movie and wanted it for a BRB screen or something I actually I wish I knew what shader this was so I could apply it on top of videos um, it's a pretty cool shader all in all all things considered and I should actually probably record some videos of it now that I'm on that topic then we have the last two. We've got Blueprint. Anyone ever think of building Mount er, a monument to Frosty Frog? Come on, I've got the blueprints. Just look, look, here's the blueprints. No? No, no? You, you don't want to go ahead and create a uh, monument to me? Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I don't deserve a monument anyways. Uh, does this work with the mirror? Ooh, it does. Okay. And then the very last one is drawing. All right, guys. For right now and right now only, get your one of a kind limited edition pre drawn or er, like pre line art frosty. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. And you could go ahead and like screenshot that or whatever, take pictures. It's all up to you. If you wanted to go ahead and try to color me in. Just don't color me Elmo or color me pink. Uh, what else? Hey Google, first person. The next things we've got on the camera are... Come on. Basically, a, an extension tool, which I don't really see a need for, personally. That I can't even hit. Okay, so with the photo camera, typically you would uh, click to take a picture, and you also have the timer, five seconds. Well, with the stream camera, you can also take pictures. Uh, you just have to hit the timer button. And... Uh, Let's see if this will work now. No. Okay, so it's not working for me. Basically, it just goes ahead and puts like a selfie stick out. But I don't think the selfie stick really does anything because I can just take the camera. And sometimes, I guess depending on the world, I can have longer reach to the camera. I don't know what that's all about. But now that we've gone through all of that, I'm going to go back to my favorite settings, this one, for the uh, stream camera portion, third person camera. Uh, depend depending on how you set it up in OBS, it'll either be rotated this way or this way, uh, typically. I mean, you could have it rotated this way if you don't want to mess with rotation OBS. Um, just notice or note that you'll have to be farther away from the camera and uh, it'll capture more off to the sides. Okay, so what you do is inside of OBS, you will add a new scene. I already have one here, but I'll just create a new instance of it. Uh, do, do, do. Game capture. Add existing. 
VR chat window two. Okay. So now I have the VR chat window, and one of the settings I have on that on said window is I'm capturing a specific window, capturing VR chat, matching title. I'm also allowing transparency. Uh, don't know why I have capture cursor on. Maybe that's for when I play desktop mode. Uh, and everything else is pretty much normal settings. But allow transparency on. If I turn that off, it'll be a black background. Um, crap. Lost track in my hand. Next up is I basically take the image come on take that window and shrink it down to however I need and I will right click go to transform rotate uh, I think I have it rotating 90 degrees clockwise. Yes. And then I'll just place that wherever I need it to be. And now, wherever the uh, camera here is, I mean, I could rotate it upside down, right side up, or well, like this would be what it would be normal. Or no, this is this is right side up. This is on its side, but the side that I have, I make note of it because of the yellow. Yellow should be in the top right hand corner. And I guess that really sums up the entire uh, video of how to go ahead and set up stream camera. Be sure to go ahead and follow me on Twitch. I go ahead and stream uh, most actively on Saturdays and Sundays. I'm currently um, in the year, or er, when this video is published, it's the year 2019. I'm trying to get partner on Twitch which means that I need an average of 75 viewers. So, if, I mean, if you guys enjoy my content, I mean, we have a lot of laughs, trust me. And we have a crazy, crazy awesome community. So come join us in the Discord and come follow me on Twitch and watch when I go live. There will be a bot in the Discord which should announce when I go live. So if it doesn't, well, I have some bot work to do. All right. Hey Google, stop stream. Whoops. Hey Google, Sierra, stop stream. Thank you all for uh, watching, and yeah, hope you got something out of this video and learned something new.